Hi, I'm Hitless Coffee Guy. Why am I Hitless? It's because I am the Hitless Horseman's father's brother's cousin's former roommate. Moving along, what do you need to know about grinding coffee in order to get the perfect cup of coffee every time? Have you ever wondered why, even though you pay good money for your coffee machine, bought premium beans or really good beans, but the coffee that comes out of your espresso machine is a bit watery or you know just too thick and bitter? Well, the common reason for this is not that you bought a bad coffee machine or the wrong type of beans. The reason for this is mostly because even though you bought good coffee beans, you did not grind it right. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the things you need to know when you're grinding your coffee beans to make coffee powder so that you get an almost perfect cup of coffee every time. Well, for anyone serious about making home coffee in the, with an espresso machine, I always suggest that you buy a coffee grinder. Why is this so important? It's because you want to have the freshest coffee powder every time you make your coffee. And the only way to get that is to grind your own beans. Now, these coffee bean grinders are sometimes more expensive or as expensive as your coffee machine. But it's important for you to get a good one because you want to be able to control how fine your coffee beans are ground into its powder, into the powder form. A proper coffee bean grinder does not have blades. A proper coffee grinder has a surface of a lacerated surface and at the bottom is another lacerated surface so that the beans are literally ground and not sliced. Another thing to look out for for proper coffee grinder is this little knob here. It allows you to control how fine a grind you want for your coffee powder. It should give you coarse all the way to super fine. So this allows you to be able to fine tune your grinds for your coffee machine. You want to be able to grind your coffee so that it's about the consistency of salt. Do take note though, depending on your coffee machine, you may be able to get away with a finer grind which is better, or you may actually have to make it slightly coarser because your coffee machine doesn't have enough bar pressure to push the water through the coffee powder. In the video where I explain how to make an espresso with a coffee machine, I will explain to you how to know if your coffee grains are too fine or not. Now, what if you don't spend $150 to $200 getting a proper coffee grinder at home? Most cafes or specialty coffee shops that sell you coffee beans will be able to grind the coffee for you as well. From my experience, if you ask for half a bag of your beans to be ground in medium and the other half of the bag to be ground in fine and you mix them together, you get about the right consistency for most coffee machines at home. Again, this is a general rule of thumb. If you have a much better coffee machine with a high bar pressure, you may be able to get it with more fine grains and less medium grains. So you really need to experiment with what you have. That's the end of this video. Before I go, I'll leave you with the thought of the day. Nothing's impossible. It's just that no one's made it possible yet. See you next time.